Right guys, a quick video on how you can get uh, the aircraft to fly with a joystick. I'm actually using a Thrustmaster joystick, T-Flight X. There's also the T-Flight HOTAS, which is a uh, separate throttle controllers included. I was going to show you a few things like how to get it to be able to look around like this and then flip back to centre again. Because you can't normally do that. Normally when you look around you end up like looking around and then you try to get it back to centre and you're off centre and you're trying to fiddle around to get it back on centre again. So I'm going to show you the control binding for that. Uh, and also basically how to set it up for joystick and how to avoid things happening like when you press joystick buttons and suddenly that happens or that happens or uh, what else that happens <laughs> you've got to basically unbind the controls for that so anyway I'm just going to show you with the joystick uh, I'm going to throttle up now the only thing I haven't figured out is the throttle um, I've got it so that unfortunately does it the opposite way you'd think that you could just invert it but it doesn't seem to want to play um, and so what's happening is that my throttle is going the opposite way to what I would normally expect and it's starting off at the centre position rather than one extreme so basically if I go to centre on my throttle it goes to off and if I go sort of actually up from that nothing, oh yeah this is about that it's a tiny bit below centre yeah you see the throttle on the right there and so this is from centre it's up down rather than being up <laughs> so you, I go throttle down it's, it's, it brings my throttle up but it's it's workable that's fine for me I don't mind that it's a bit swishy and sway at the moment uh, <laughs> it's not really very smooth uh, and I've had to tighten the joystick up underneath there's a thing where you can tighten up the actual joystick just so that it's not all over the place and I'm tending to find it's pulling to the right slowly all the time which I'm hoping is just part of the simulation I'm just going for this rearm point not that I need to do it now this is I'm just showing you in the tutorial I've also got flaps, combat flaps there uh, the gear is on a button as well Oops, which one is it? that one so that's one of my buttons I've also got the trigger set to fire and all this but in the tutorial obviously you have to you have to get to these waypoints before it even allows you to do that uh, and the other thing is it won't even let you do zoom in I'm trying to press zoom in and nothing's happening and I thought at first that was because I hadn't set the controls right but actually it's just that you have to go to the waypoint first let's get there. Uh, and then it starts allowing you to use guns and use zoom in uh, which I wasn't expecting so what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to exit out of this and show you some important things you need to do uh, in order to uh, set this up for a joystick so that it doesn't conflict with the mouse and it doesn't do all sorts of other weird things uh, there's actually a balloon out there At some point you see it will actually tell me to go and shoot that one out there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And it's actually quite good fun. It's, it kind of makes you sweat a bit. It's, it's hard because you have to sort of be very artificially smooth with it. And I can kind of turn down the sensitivity a bit on some things. But I, that's, I think, one of the problems of my meeting. I've flown way out of the area, but here I am. says the next thing to do is control the engine power okay yeah I've got that I can do this blah, 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 blah. is it going to try and get me to turn around or something I don't know let's see I'll just put some power on with the flaps on combat uh, obviously that allows you to turn faster if you want to fly faster in a straight line you have the flaps up I can't believe I saw a, I think it was a YouTube video or something and somebody said they didn't know what the flaps up meant. I'm like, Ugh. it just means that your wings are completely flat and straight and that's best for straight line speed. But it's not best for um, if you want to manoeuvre. So, you know, if you want to just fly straight, do that. You, if you, t you see how you, you I started dropping a bit there. So I had a bit of power. Uh, and you can do it for combat will give you a little bit of lift as well and obviously take off will give you way more lift and landing will give you maximum amount of lift right, so, uh, okay so destroy the balloon 
settings over here. I'm going to put it on combat flight. It's going to drop the power. Now I can zoom in. Let's get see if we can get on target. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. So there we go. Right, I'm going to exit out of this now and show you the menu so you can uh, see what to do. Actually, I've got just enough time to drop a bomb, I think, but I'm not going to necessarily hit this. And the graphics don't seem to refresh. Now, which one's bomb? <laughs> I think it's this one. Where am I? Ah, here we go. Yeah. It says it's a bit bobbly bobbly. Ah, here we go. I'm not going to hit these. I doubt very much. Right, let's zoom back out again. Is can I look? I'm probably going to go into a controllable spin now. Oh, yeah. Ah, right, get some. Oh, no, no, that way. Come on, you can actually use your rudder. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Nope. <laughs> Very unforgiving. You can actually use a combination of rudder and. Uh, Aerolons to actually get out of that, but I was too low to get out of it, and I was not looking forward, which is the hardest thing. Anyway. What's this? I'm going to go out of this because it will just crash over and over again. I'm going to show you what the settings are for that. So basically, uh, the first thing you want to look at is options, actually, not just controls. Go to game, and what you find is playing control mode. Normally, that's on pointer aim, and you've got this screen joystick one, which... I'm not sure what exactly that is, but I know that it needs to be on direct if you're going to use a uh, joystick. Um, I think that's it uh, for that. Um, yeah, harmonization mode, that's hilarious. It removes offensive flags, apparently. Right, so we've got that. Um, then it can, it's controls. So there's several things to make a note of. So uh, it's not just the plane controls. On main controls here, if you look at this, it says, normally I've got it on keyboard and mouse. And the problem is you can go and set all your plane controls to various joystick controls, and you'll think, yeah, that's it, recognized it. And then you go into the game and it's not responding at all. And that's just this damn setting here. It's just that you've got to have it on auto, uh, so that it will know whether it's keyboard or mouse or whether you're using a gamepad or a joystick. As long as you put it on auto, it will recognize those controls. So, you know, you can set all this, all this up and it still doesn't work and it's just because that one damn setting in there so yeah bear that in mind another thing to bear in mind as well is not just to look in the plane bit here but also under squad controls normally the gamepad controls a lot of these one or two of these things and there's like I think the pie menu which is tab but that's also um, one of the buttons on the joystick which I normally want to set to like bombs or something and so I try and bomb something and the pie menu comes up. Uh, and there was also for interface as well. Uh, for game menu, escape, that's one of the joystick buttons, so that would normally be set to something. And the map, that would normally be set to a gamepad control. So you need to just clear all these, obviously I've done that already, before as well, because otherwise you'll get that interfering with things as well. Now to get the look around to work, what you do is this. You look at the excess setup. What I've done is you've got the analog, you've got the analog axis, and I use the directional little thumb thing on the top of the joystick uh, as the axis. Now that means that you can then look around, but it doesn't revert back to center view. But what you do is you use a modifier, and the modifier that doesn't tell you anything there. The modifier is actually it's a little finger button on the joystick on a Thrustmaster, which is a tiny little button. You'd hardly notice it was there. Uh, and it's kind of on the trigger side, but on the right hand side, and you kind of use it with the top of your index finger um, with your right hand, if you're right handed. And you just hold that and then move the stick around. And when you release that, it goes back to center again. And that's the only way I've found to be able to do that, but it works. So that's the main thing. Uh, I've got zoom set to one of the joystick buttons, obviously, shoot is the trigger. Um, I've got cannon set to the rear button on the on the actual stick itself uh, so you can use your thumb for that because that normally would be set up as uh, flares and chaff in a flight sim uh, drop bombs I've got as a, one of the buttons low down on the thing shoot rockets is the button on the rear to the right of that thumb button um, 
So I've got three different things I can use that, that are just you know triggers and things. And then you've got these obviously now let's look at these. So I've got the axis, no modifier, no dead zone. Uh hadn't had to invert that one. The elevator, I think I've got it in, no, I haven't got that inverted either. So that as standard is okay. The rudder on this joystick is you you can actually twist the joystick. And the throttle is that axis. But what I've noticed is that even if I put invert axis, it doesn't do it right for some weird reason. So if anyone wants to leave a comment to tell me how I'm supposed to do that to get it to work properly, you know. And then various buttons for gear, extend flaps, raise flaps, and air brakes. And then there's, they've got the spelt brakes wrong there. That's supposed to be your uh, landing brake, but no one ever lands, you know. So that is basically how to set things up. I did have it set up for the mouse, and I just hated the way it flew. It was horrible. So hopefully that will help you out, and that's pretty much it. Uh, have fun with that, and uh, yeah, just help that helps out.